Hi, I'm Heather. Welcome to my Fidlio. Our first lesson is the bow grip. If either if you're a new beginner for fiddle or violin, this works great. Maybe you just need a little review. Um, maybe you want to improve your technique. In the bow grip, we're making a spring with our hand. And the spring system allows us to have a lot of control and it lets us go very fast as we might do with our shorter bow as our shorter strokes, maybe in the middle of our bow, or ultimately when we also are playing some very long, look how long that bow is, very long bows, okay, are um, really secure and, you know, technically appropriate bow grip. It lets us do what we want to, and that's, that's all that it's about. It's just getting to express ourselves the way that we want, okay? So take your left hand, and hold your bow in the middle. This is the stick, hold it here. And then you take your right hand and you bring it up and you allow gravity to, you know, do as it will with your hand. And you can see I'm making a C shape. So what's very important here, this thumb is bent. So I play, you know, maybe more intermediate and advanced players, they'll, they'll put it in here. So maybe it's time for you to put it here with this 45 degree angle touching on the outside of your thumb, okay? Maybe that's what you're doing. If you're a brand new beginner or you're not ready for that, please, please put it down here on the frog, okay? So right down here is where we put it. What that does is it naturally forces your hand into a curved shape. It's critical that your hand is curved, okay? So to make the spring system, it seems like we would have our hand up against, actually up against the side, because that would be a great way to not drop your bow. But what it does is it deadens the tone and you just don't have the control. It makes it, it's kind of like ugh, bowing with a baseball bat or something. It's just not great. So what you do, let me get my pen out. If you go onto your, oh, let's see, go to the first knuckle and, oh, I guess you can't see there, and draw a little line here, I'm sorry, I have to draw it down here. Yeah, here we go. Okay, and then on your pinky, so there are my lines, and then on your pinky, you put a little dot because we handle the pinky a little bit differently. My lines aren't great. Okay, so this is what we do. So you hold your, hold your bow here and lay these lines on the first nut on the joint. Bend your thumb such that, see the C in here? I tell people it's like putting a little clementine in there, okay? That makes the spring system. Then where we put the little, see my little dot where we put the dot, there's a little groove on the top. Not quite on the top, but a little bit underneath, and that's where we put that. And this, and we bend this a little bit, and that gives us the control that we need. So as a recap, I'm going to take it off. Another thing you can do um, you can just bring your hand up and let gravity do that. Another thing you can do is just whack it like that. Just bam, right down there where those little lines are, okay? Curving the thumb, 45 degree angle, okay? Right, right in here, 45 degree angle, pinky up on top, okay? And that will take you far as far as beginning um, to have, you know, some real quality of violent sounds. So thanks for stopping by. And I will be posting another video soon about holding the, holding the violin. Okay, thanks. Bye.